Later today, the Senate Finance Committee will vote on three of President Biden's nominees, including his pick to head uh, HHS, Xavier Becerra. But critics have been slamming his lack of experience and progressive record. Conservative think tank Heritage Action for America has launched this new TV ad. During a pandemic, the Sarah wants open borders, even as caravans of illegals head north. Our senators promise to protect Arizona and our country. Here's their chance. All right. Our next guest is the executive, executive director at Heritage, Heritage Action. Welcome, Jessica Anderson. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I just had a big sip of coffee. Uh, so in your in your ad, you talk about how he wants open borders. Why not? I've heard from uh, the Biden administration. There's no crisis down there, although they're going to have 117,000 kids come through the uh, southern border illegally this year. Well, Mr. Becerra's position on illegal immigration is especially concerning given the role that HHS has in working in cooperation with DHS when it comes to securing or opening our borders. And so, you know, his position on this is concerning the Office of Refugee Resettlement, as you'll recall, resides within HHS. Yep. HHS is responsible for the process and structure around UACs, where they go, what shelters they're in, how long they're there, if they're tested for COVID. So, while the HHS role is traditionally understood as one that's just focused on health care, when you really understand the far reach of HHS, you see it goes into these right. immigration policies. And it's critical that we have someone at the helm, especially at a time like this, that understands the crisis at the border and our internal crisis with COVID across the country. Well, exactly. And if it's the health and human services during right. a pandemic, he, the person should be a doctor. I, I'm, I'm just saying, why couldn't Joe Biden put a doctor in that job? Well, if not a doctor, at least a healthcare professional. And Mr. Becerra's only healthcare experience has been going after and suing Catholic nuns for their closely yeah. held religious beliefs and trying to force the contraception mandate on them, which, by the way, went all the way to the Supreme Court. So, yes, he's not a doctor. He has some healthcare experience, but I'm not sure I would count lawsuits against Catholic nuns as that type of healthcare experience we want at the helm and the leadership of HHS. And you've got a problem with his stand on religious liberty. Very much so. I mean, his role as attorney general in California was to go after pregnancy resource centers, to go after these Catholic nuns and, and the little sisters of the poor case. And he has shown an extremism when it comes to these right. social issues, which are also part of the HHS mandate. So we want these ads to shed light on this. We want senators to feel emboldened to vote no. And we think by Biden's withdrawal of Tandon last night for the Office right. of Management and Budget that hopefully senators are waking up and realizing that they need to be a moderate force to this progressive cabinet agenda that Biden is putting forward. Sure. Uh, of course, during the six o'clock hour last night, the White House pulled the nomination of Neera Tandon, uh, given her history of mean tweets and other things that she had said about the people who she wanted to vote for her. Now it seems like it all comes down to Joe Manchin once again, the most powerful man in the universe. Well, Biden's decision to withdraw Tandon last night is actually the first public defeat of the Biden administration. And a this is a L. good thing. It's a good thing. That's right. And so what Manchin does now is, I think, up to anyone except up to everyone except for him. He will make this choice. Yeah. And the reality is, is Tandon going to be the token no vote or will he actually be the moderating force against the extreme Biden agenda? And that's what we're hoping to encourage him to do with these ads running in West Virginia today. And uh, Joe Manchin has not said which way he's going to go. We should know by this time tomorrow. Jessica, thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. You bet.